Hey guys, it's me again. So today I wanted to do a favorites video because I've been gone for a while so I really wanted to talk about some things that I have been absolutely obsessed with. So instead of just talking about them like you know product at a time, I figured I would just kind of do like my recent like makeup routine essentially. That way you guys can see how the products go on, why I love them so much, and I just feel like it's a little more fun than just like talking about them. So also I hope you guys don't mind that I have been wearing glasses in my videos. I know the ring light glare can be super obnoxious, I apologize, but I have given up on contacts. Like I just don't care for them anymore. I cannot stand wearing them. They dry, they dry my eyes out really bad. Um, I just like, I don't know, I'm just like really comfortable in glasses. So just in case anything is like out of focus, I honestly, I won't know because I won't be able to see. So bear with me. It's already turning out to be a little harder than I anticipated. So first recent favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've been... I've loved this stuff like for a long time. I've had a bottle before. I used to only get like the travel size bottles, but I go through it pretty quick. And this bottle's lasted me a while. I got it on sale at Ulta when they had like their 21 days of something. Um, so I love this stuff. All right, so my next favorite that I have been loving for like the last, I want to say like month, month and a half, is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I have it in the shade of Porcelain, and I have been loving this stuff. I don't really generally, I don't wear foundation like every single day, but when I do, I pretty much am always reaching for this one. Um, it comes in like a little dropper, which I think is honestly just fun, so I've been loving it. Normally I use like a beauty blender, but because I believe this is like a water-based foundation, I haven't really been reaching for the beauty blender with it. I actually like using a brush, which is like, kind of weird for me because I swear by the beauty blender but um, the Sigma F80 works really really well. I'm not going to be taking you guys through each like step of my makeup routine just because I don't have a favorite for each category. This way it kind of goes a little bit quicker. Um, my next favorite is like my fa the it is my favorite of all of my favorites, as stupid as that sounds. Um, it is the Custom Enhancer Drops by Cover Effects in Halo. I have the ones in Celestial. I actually don't use those. I haven't used those since I got this one. These bad boys are kind of expensive. They're like 45 bucks from Sephora. I love it so much. I get this highlighter. I use it as a highlighter. You can put it like in your foundation, like when you put it on, make it glow all over. You can put this on like your decollete, on your shoulders, make you look super just glowy, especially for us fair girls because this highlighter is everything. I could talk forever about these, but I use a stippling brush. This one's just from e.l.f., super cheap. You can pick it up at like Walmart. Um, I like to wet this brush first. I'll just use like primer water or fix plus. And again, this is in like a dropper bottle and it's so much fun. Okay. And then I will do like a drop over here and then, a, oh shit, that was, that was a lot. I just usually do like two drops, but that one's really big. Okay. Anyways, if you don't have this already, you are going to want to run to Sephora and pick it up like as soon as you see this because this is my number one highlighter. I Nothing else has like come close. I like to just take it and like first like stipple it. That was a lot. Jeez, okay. Onto my cheekbone. Take it up around my eyebrow. I'm blind so I cannot see if you guys can see it in the viewfinder but hopefully you see this because holy crap. I look like an angel. I mean like absolutely obsessed with it. I've never gotten so many compliments on a highlight before, but like every time I wear it, someone asks me what it is and then they're like, oh my God, that's beautiful because of it. So my next favorite is actually a powder. It's the Stargazer powder, which I got from like Amazon. I use this as my under eye setting powder because it is white. Um, there aren't any powders that like highlight my under eye like this one does so I like to set my concealer with this that brings me to my next favorite with the eyes I just got this um the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and 
I definitely slept on this palette. Like, I did not realize. I kind of figured it was, like, overhyped. Um, I remember I really wanted it when it first, like, came out, and I just never picked it up. Um, so, I finally have it, and I am obsessed with it. I absolutely love, like, all of, the, like, the peaky peaches. Like, I love that, like, rosy pink eye. So, that is what I'm going to do today. And I don't really do, like, a specific eye look. I feel like it kind of changes every time so i'm just gonna do something real quick and simple i am just obsessed with wearing these peachy pink shades on the eyes like i feel like it's just so like fresh and like summery Ugh. I can't remember if I had the chance to talk about this product before I went on like a little hiatus, but the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, this stuff is really great. I use it pretty much every time I wear makeup um, to bronze my face. I have the darker shade though. It's like they have two. They have like a light, a light one and then they have this one. The light one makes you look, well it makes me look like yellow. It's like it's weird like the coloring of it, it's just super weird so my recent blush favorite has got to be the California box powder blush from benefit first of all this packaging can we just like it is so stinking cute and this color obviously if you can't tell I'm really into like the peachiness right now especially with spring and summer so yes I'm living for this blush also Another big favorite is the Morphe M405 blush brush, or it might be like a contour brush, but I use it for blush, and this thing is actually like amazing. Like, I love it. And in case you don't want to spend the $45 on the most amazing highlight you will ever own, I do have a, another one for you that I have also been really loving. And there's another brush that I love to use with it. It's also by Morphe, but don't freak out because I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But um, the Morphe, I think it's Y14. I don't know. It's like scraping off. But the brush is amazing to apply. Like it's a wonderful highlighter brush. Just look up highlighting brush on their site and it's like in gold packaging. You should find it. But the highlighter is from Sleek. So I saw Ulta started carrying Sleek online which was super exciting and this one is Solstice um, or 32 and you get like four, you get four different highlighting shades. Um, one's like yellow toned, one's like more of like a I don't know, like pinky gold, and then you get this lavender shade, which I actually like to put on top, just as an added extra um, onto the tops of my cheekbones sometimes. I don't do it all the time because those um, <clears throat> halo drops are plenty, but I do, I do love a good highlight. So yeah, this is only like $14.99 from Ulta in case you want something a little cheaper. So another big favorite for the month is definitely the hair, just getting used to having it super duper short. Also, these glasses, I believe these are like Hepburn from I Buy Direct. So these are the clear frames. I have been absolutely loving the clear frames. I ordered two pairs of these. I ordered the clear and I actually ordered the like black speckled ones. Um, and I've just been loving. I still am so obsessed with I Buy Direct. I did an entire try on video when I splurged and bought a whole bunch of like like prescription eyeglasses so I will leave the link to that up in the cards um, but yeah definitely check that out if you guys are looking for some new glasses oh this necklace so obviously the choker trend is not going anywhere and that's totally fine but I personally don't like um, I'm not someone who's gonna wear like a black choker like a velvet choker like every day or those like crisscross ones that are you know straight from the 90s I think they're super cute but it's just like not me so I actually ordered this one from Etsy and it's just a little gold chain it's got like a nice little reflective disc in here but it actually has the letter B um, engraved in it um, again I don't know if I said this but I got it from Etsy I will leave the link um, to the seller down below in case you guys are interested because it was super inexpensive it came from New York um, which I was like oh that's an added plus um, so came from New York and it got here super quick I live in the Midwest so Got here pretty, pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing it every day and I just think it's like dainty and cute. So. so another big favorite of mine this month are actually these shelves back here. You can't really see them, but they are three. There's three of them. You can only see two, but they're just acrylic shelves. I've been putting my palettes on them. Nine times out of ten, I think you see like nail polish, which I figured I was going to, that's what I was going to use them for originally, but 
I actually really love putting my palettes there because I do have so much makeup I honestly forget that I have some palettes and I will generally stick to whatever is in that drawer back there um, for eyeshadow and I will just totally forget that I have an entire collection so that has been helping me like actually reach out and use like different palettes because it's like I spent the money on them I should probably use them um, but an Amazon company did reach out and send those to me I will leave a link to where you can buy those on Amazon um, I figured I'd let you guys know that I truly love them and maybe you guys will too so I will leave a link down below so I think that is it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it um, it was kind of like a different take on a favorites video let me know by giving me a thumbs up because I will totally do this again if you loved it also thank you to all of the sweet comments on my last video and on my Instagram picture you guys were super sweet I'm so glad that you guys like the hair and yeah just thanks for being super encouraging and loving as always and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys